So real quick, you guys, is is music videos, would you say is your specialty, that's what you want to do with your careers? Mm. What are you thinking? There's it's a mix a, of everything. Because I know a, for me that I would love to do music videos. Like if, 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 I, if, if I had a billion dollars in the bank, right? I would just be traveling the world doing portraits, like photography, that like creative gel lighting, yeah. and I would be doing music videos because I feel those for are where I would be. your favorite artist. Yeah, yeah, for my favorite artist, right? For music that I like. It's a it's a nice in, but I don't think it's what we want to do uh, for the rest of our careers. Yeah. Um, if you look at like David Fincher or Michael Bay, they came from Propaganda Films, which is mm-hmm. like a really well-known mm-hmm. um, music video company that just started a lot of people's careers back in the day. Mm. Um, it's definitely not a bad way to go, but mm-hmm. I, you know, I think we definitely have our sights set on doing features. Yeah, I mean, uh, Michelle Gondry and uh, like Spike Jones. Um, yeah, yeah, like it, if you watch, uh, was a that Far Side video, or he also did one recently for Apple that won a whole bunch of yeah, uh, that awards. Apple commercial. Wait, you talking about the Far Side video we did backwards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. everything was backwards. Right, so I cool. Got, yeah, I got that. that I got that yeah. DVD with all his music videos Love and it. stuff. And yeah. I'm like, damn, yeah. him, Christopher Webb, and I think somebody else. Chris Cunningham has one. Oh, on there. he's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But Michelle Gondry. Um, I don't know if you guys a little bit know about a little bit about Michelle Gondry. But I've heard her name before. Yeah. Yeah. He, he is. Um, he did. He's done a lot of Bjork's videos. Um, Bjork. He, White stripes. Oh, yeah. White stripes. Oh. Did, he, did he do the Lego one? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I have like yeah. I have these three DVDs with all those videos because those are my favorite videos watching on like MTV. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was always he, like that is so tight. He's totally an inspiration too. Absolutely for what we're trying to do. But yeah. with this next one. Uh, you know, we don't have an artist for it yet, but I uh, want to do like a Star Wars type of thing. And, and kind of how we implored like uh, 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 stop motion effects and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, we want to do like motion controlled camera, um, miniatures, you know, mm-hmm. spaceships that you basically have shot on a green screen, do things like that. Mm. And I'm thinking, well, you know, when you say motion control camera, you mean like the the big ass arm, the big ass arm that's that automated around. and those those cameras. Right, and I don't know if we'd have the budget okay, for that. Yeah. We we might actually have to just put the thing on. Straight. I think they rent for like five thousand a day. Oh no way! Or yeah, seven days. No big deal. No, so if you guys need five thousand, just let them know. <laughs> no. Pull it out of the morning dinner budget. <laughs> I was literally thinking about buying one because like I think they have like a market value, not market value one. Oh. What a flex! But um, no, no, no. Like, take out a loan, you know, struggle. Think about try to like, I mean, it's like what ninety one thousand. So it's probably like one hundred twenty thousand after all the stuff you have to buy for it. You want to know what's crazy is that DJ is gonna do the exact same thing for like twelve hundred next <laughs> yeah. year yeah. or newer. I think technology is getting crazier and like cheaper. You know, every day like you used to have to have like a thirty thousand steady cam rig to get semi steady footage back in the day. Now you can just get like a bucks. a Ronin mm-hmm. S for four or five hundred bucks and you're Cheap. you're solid mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. uh, granted there's a lot of takeaways you can't do exactly as you could back in the day but you know do you guys feel of- like that's a bad thing or do you actually enjoy that Oh, um, that's accessible to people. Yeah, I think it's great. It's a great thing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the more people that can express themselves creatively, I mean, why not? I mean, we shot Violent Water on an A7S II, the Sony camera, and it's relatively inexpensive. It's just a couple thousand too. dollars, you know. And mm-hmm. we got the look that we wanted, and we didn't have to, you know, use an Ari Alexa or anything mm-hmm. super crazy. It's super accessible for us, and it worked within our budget, you know.